Well, hello everybody. This is another behind the scenes because I'm in the middle of shooting my third infrared tutorial video. And because we're kind of having a, a little bit of a, a heat wave here in England, I'm just taking advantage of the, the blue skies right now. Literally no clouds in the sky at all. Normally that equates to really boring photography. However, when you've got an infrared camera, all of a sudden this is great. Now in my tutorial, I'll go into a lot more details about why you might choose to shoot infrared photography. But this is just liberating. I've got, I've got a problem. I've got FOMO. And I don't mean fear of missing out of going to locations specifically. My FOMO ends up in me taking out too much gear all the time. Especially when you're making a YouTube video, you take all the photography gear and you also take all the video gear with you. And I can't just leave all of the lenses at home and just take one lens. But I have to say when I do, when I do just take out minimal gear, I went to Morocco on holiday for a week and I took one camera and one lens. It was a full frame Canon and a 50 millimeter f1.8. And they're some of the most memorable times for photography for me because you just feel so free. You're not carrying around a heavy camera bag. Okay, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, what's infrared photography? Okay, well, I've got my infrared camera here and I might be the first person ever to do an infrared vlog. This is what I look like in infrared. Wow, I mean, if you've never seen infrared before, impact. If nobody's ever made an infrared vlog before, I'm claiming it. This is my territory now. Very flattering look. My skin looks even paler than normal, but okay. <laughs> I made an initial tutorial about getting into infrared photography. My second tutorial was how to edit the photographs. And the next video that I'll be making, which will be out in a couple of weeks time, is what subjects are great for infrared photography. But that's not what this video is about. I'm letting you in behind the scenes because the whole principle of infrared photography is about setting yourself free. Setting yourself free from a tripod, setting yourself free from carrying loads of camera bags, lenses, and all of the equipment. Okay, stepping back a little bit. Traditional landscape photography, you've got good light in the morning, which in the summer is four or five o'clock in the morning. And then you've got great light at sunset. Like we've got now, we've got about an hour before the sun sets good light. But what about the other 15 hours of the day in the summer? That is why I enjoy infrared photography. It kind of, it doesn't limit your photography in the middle of summer. It seems quite popular right now. Thomas Heaton has made two videos about infrared photography. I'm sure that the topic is going to absolutely explode. But the reason I'm making this video is to be in alignment with that freedom and carrying as little gear as possible in order to film my infrared videos I've just dispensed with the tripod altogether. So for the infrared videos, I've actually been carrying around a monopod. Now this monopod is from Suray. I reviewed one of their monopods earlier on in the year and they've actually sent me this one, which is a slight modification of an old monopod. So what's interesting about this product, which is a P326 monopod from Suray, and I'll put a link in the description. This is not new. However, what they've done is they've upgraded it because the monopod that I reviewed has some really awesome feet on it, which means that you can actually stand the monopod on its own feet and you don't have to hold it anymore. But then everybody who had an older monopod from Suray probably felt a bit left out. They said, oh, well, my monopod doesn't stand on its own. I have to stand there and hold it. Even if you're not interested in getting one of these, you have to commend Suray for their innovation. What they've done is they've created this kit in the middle, which allows an existing monopod. They've got two in their range. They've got the P326, which is this one, which is carbon fiber. And then they've got the P306, which is the aluminium version. Now, if I dismantle this, this is the knuckle, which they call the P36. Watch this. You pull that down and that releases the knuckle. This is exactly the same base that I reviewed earlier on in the year. You twist this knuckle and it actually reveals this really clever mechanism that they've designed, which allows you to take a regular monopod, which has its own little rubber foot and you rest it on the ground. But as I said in my original monopod review, these don't get too much use because you have to lean it against something. You have to put it on the floor. You can never kind of just stand it on its own. So now you've actually got the P36 adapter on your monopod and you can just clip that into the feet. There you go. You've just upgraded your monopod. 
If you didn't see my original monopod review, it's okay, I forgive you, then the main reason why I would choose a monopod over a tripod in some situations is purely for speed. Now I did a side-by-side -side test setting up a tripod from a folded position versus a monopod, and the monopod is about three times quicker because you've only got one leg. So at the moment, it's in its closed position. You undo all of the knuckles. There you go. And then the monopod is set up versus a tripod, you have to do that three times. This kit is really well made. I've got absolutely no complaints there. It's not a cheap upgrade. It's around 160 pounds or $160. Um, I think that's actually more than the monopod itself, but you're actually getting a new product. I'll put a link in the description. I don't get a penny for that. So if you're interested, pick one up. Um, thanks to Sue Ray for sending this through for me to share with you guys because it has been very helpful shooting my infrared video. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.